hello hello welcome back to part two of me making my mushroom journal cover so last time i made the outside with chipboard batting and fabric and duct tape and lots of glue and today i am going to do the inside so I looked through all my um, papers, or yeah, it's like a thin cardstock or maybe scrapbook paper. And I'm trying to figure out what color I want to line on the inside, what color paper. So I'm, I picked out a few brown slash beige tones and a red because i really like the red in the mushrooms and that's not exact red but i like this like a like apple an apple red um so that would be cool so that's a contender then i have like this brownish yucky brown <laughs> i don't know what the name is that wouldn't look too bad mm. A lighter version of that not sure Oops. and then this is the lightest version I think I like this one or the red what would you guys choose I think the red will just give it a pop I don't know. Maybe I'll do the red. Mm. I'm going to cut both of them and I'm going to just lay them on, on the journal cover and then we'll see which one looks better. All right. So, okay. The cover size is nine by six so i'm going to do probably let's see i'm gonna leave a quarter inch around so i'm gonna do five and a half by eight and a half let's do this one first Oops. Eight and a half. Isn't this such a nice red? I'm usually not a big fan of red, but I really like this one. Okay. Uh, what was I say? Oh, yeah, five and a half. Five and a half. work yeah okay and then I need another one another five and a half all right let's see if I really like this then I might not have to cut the other one I think I'm gonna go with the red and then I have some fabric for the spine this one has a little pattern on it very subtle with flowers and this one is just plain so I gotta see which one I like plain or flower pattern I might go with a flower pattern. It's, I mean, it's very subtle, but I like that it's a little, little darker than this one. And you're not going to really see a lot of this um, spine cover, but I like, I like the detail. Okay, so let's put this away. All right. So now I don't have to cut this paper. That's good. 
Okay, now this paper has a texture on one side and you can still see the texture on the other side, but it's like not as textured, but I think I want the texture here. So I'm going to glue this on here and on here. And guess what came in the mail today? Haha! <laughs> I decided to order the Tim Holtz one e ones, even though there's only 12 in there, but it's definitely smaller than these guys that I accidentally bought. Um, let's see. One, two. Whoopsie, stay in there. Come on, come on. Okay, we can all come out. Then you go in the trash. So I like these guys. Oh yeah, they're a lot easier to, to bend. There we go. And these can go in my little drawer over here with all the metal pieces and charms and trinkets and stuff. So, I just want to see... Oh. Hmm, well, so I'm going to see though, like, we're going to see the back side of those. Because I'm not going to cover the whole, I think that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to probably going to do this first. Okay, so I am going to attempt to do this. Let me find my pliers. If you saw my last video, part one of this, um, you saw the fail, but I'm glad I used a test piece and I didn't try it on my journal right away because that would have been annoying. And, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's not even gonna cover that corner. I might have to snip that off. Um, that's annoying. That's what I wanted. I wanted to cover that. All right. So, kind of scared to do that. Can you see that? Oh, it'll work out. Okay, let's see if I can put some glue in there. I don't want to put too much glue in there because I don't want it to like ooze out on the side. Ugh. Don't want to ruin my nice cover. Gotta squeeze it in there. And bent this over. Ugh, holy smokes. Am I still in the frame? Yes. Oh, I got glue coming out somewhere. Nope, that was just on my hand. Uh oh, no, I bent it too much. Ah, oh, come on. Oh well. Nobody's perfect, and it's the back side, so whatever. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, now, next one. I had a doctor's appointment today, and afterwards my husband asked if I can pick up the little person from daycare, because he had to run some other errands, and so I had a little time before I picked her up, and I stopped at um, Hobby Lobby, and I looked at all the papers and all the uh, stamps and stuff, and I didn't buy it. I bought two, I bought some stickers for my letters and then some, those little paperbacks, well that looks dumb, um, paperbacks, like fall themed taper, taper bags, <laughs> paperbacks that I am going to use for a project and junk, junk journals, but yeah, they were all 40% off and I paid $3.21 I think, so... That worked out well. 
I haven't been to Hobby Lobby in a long time. Which is good. Because otherwise I wouldn't buy everything. Which is not good. Okay, so that's the back side. And I like it. It's not, not too shabby. So it would be nice if these were like a little bigger than this and smaller than these. Because it's a pretty big journal. But that's better than nothing. And I really didn't want to use those gigantic ones anyway because they were too big but I had a hard time um, bending them anyway okay so I'm gonna cut a little bit of this corner here off I really gotta clean all my scissors because they're all gooey and stuff I bought some goo gone and I will have to do like a cleaning session with all my scissors the only thing I'm really good with or good at is only use my um, only using my fabric scissors for fabric, but all the other scissors are all like gluey and sticky and have all kinds of stuff on them, and probably dull. Got to sharpen them too. Okay, let's see if that works. I like that these are a lot easier to bend. Oh, it's coming out in the corner. That's why I had glue on my hands. Huh. Almost weekend. So excited. I need sleep. Probably not going to get a lot of sleep, but... At least I don't have to work on a weekend. That's good. I only work weekdays. Muy bien. And one more. And my cats are fighting outside the door. The male cat likes to chase his sister. And she doesn't like that, so she like hisses and growls and I always say she screams at him <laughs> and he thinks it's funny. So I'm only putting the card or the cardstock in here so I don't scratch it and I don't bend it too oof too much okay nice can you hear it click I like it this one I did a little too much but that's fine and then I am going to put the book like plague <laughs> book plate on the front I think but I'd I I'm gonna probably do this at the end. All right, so now I can get rid of my pliers and now we're gonna stick this in here. Yeah, that's okay. That'll work. That'll do, that'll do. Yeah, I was like, am I upside down? But these mushrooms are upside down because I folded the fabric in. Okay, so. Why is my cat always meowing when I'm filming? Now, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna do, can you see this? Oh my gosh, that's kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to do, Lots and lots of glue here. Uh, yep. And because I don't want this to come through the paper. And then I'm going to do the corners or the edges on. Maybe not. I don't know yet. A little bit on here. Sorry, in case I'm not in the frame, I can't. I can see right now. It's probably gonna seep through my paper. Oh, 
not. Okay. Here goes nothing. Ta-da! Yuck. Gluey fingers, and I don't want to put glue on the paper. Oh, cat. They were driving me bonkers last night. I was trying to film and I was trying to do get some mail ready like to to send out because I have to go to the post office tomorrow. And they were meowing at the door and then a dog came and uh, I love my pets, but sometimes they just ah uh, drive me crazy. Because, of course, everyone always wants mommy, not just human kids, also the furry kids want mommy. Okay, so, one side's done, and now we can do the other one with my gluey finger. Two. Come on, glue! <laughs> Oh, I I um, was looking for some Christmas um, paper today, scrap of paper for my December daily, and I found a box that I had labeled Christmas, and I forgot all about it, or I forgot that I put all the stuff in a box, and it has all my Christmas papers and ephemera and all stuff in there, all those things, so I got really excited, and I was like, should I start making videos about my Christmas stuff, but then I was like, nope, I gotta stick to one thing and do this first, because I wanna finally get working on my, why is this not working, on my um, mushroom journal, and I still have time for Christmas stuff. It's only August, beginning of August, but I'm excited. I'm still waiting for one thing ugh, for my, um, December Daily. I haven't even finished my last year's December Daily, so who says I'm gonna actually do it this year? But I have different ideas this year. And last year was the first year I tried that, and I had like this nice album. And I took actually I took pictures every single day. Um, and I just have to print them. And um put them in but this year i think i want to prepare the album um so i have oh no so all i have to do is put the pictures in and and do some journaling because last year i didn't i i started i started um sorry i started the album and I was gonna craft every day, but I can't. I can't do this. I mean, now at least I have some craft time in the evening because my kid goes to bed, and then I have a little bit of time to myself. A year ago, she was too little, and I actually went to bed the same time as she did because I had to get up super early for work. But now that I work from home, I don't have to try uh, to drive an hour to work in the morning. And I can actually sleep in a little bit. Well, sleep in. I still have to get up early and get everyone ready. But at least I have a little bit of me time. So, that's the inside. Oh, we gotta do the fabric too. Alright, so I hope this is gonna stay in here. What I am going to do... Uh, I really don't wanna... I really don't wanna um, go iron stuff fabric again. Ah. Well, I guess I have to. Do I have to? This one is not too bad. I think I'm gonna just cut out. Yeah, no, that's fine. Once I glue it in here, I'll just stretch it a little bit. Okay, so it needs to be about eight and a half. Eight and a half by, where's my ruler? Let's take this one. Uh, I wanted to 
overlap a little bit. So I'm going to do four inches, eight and a half by four inches. Is it going to be enough? Let's see. Where's my other one? This one I did, oops, ah, why did you stick to this? In here I did fabric. Oh yeah, I had to like fold it because I didn't have my, I didn't have these um, pinging shears. <gasps> and I didn't want the fabric to fray, so I actually folded it in, but I'm not going to do this. Oh, I found what I was looking for. On this one, I cut the fabric and that worked out pretty well, except for on, on the fold. I didn't put enough glue here, so I gotta make sure that I'm gonna cover the entire thing with glue because I don't want this. I don't want it to look like that. But other than that, I think it looked pretty, worked pretty well. All right. Uh, let's see. My cats are driving me crazy. I don't know if you guys can hear them, but oh, they're right outside my door. <laughs> one one's in, and the other one says nope. And then they fight. They don't really fight. They just bug each other. All right. Let this dry over here. Ugh, yeah. I am going to cut a straight edge first. Wow, now the girl's pissed at her brother. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, actually, I should probably use a different ruler so I can actually get a straight straight edge. Let's get my gigantic uh, uh, sewing ruler thing. And not stab myself in the stomach in the process. Okay. Let me, I gotta stand up for this. Uh -huh. Eight and a half. Oh, I think I moved. Ugh. Yeah, this is not a good position to cut. <laughs> I'm bending around my chair, standing on one foot. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it a bit, a little bit bigger, so I can. I still have enough room to cut with these shears. Okay, what do I want to do? Uh, let's see. Hmm. This looks so not straight <laughs> because of the folds and everything. Uh, oh my gosh, what am I doing? <laughs> Close the glue, so I'm not going to get it on my fabric. And then... <laughs> I should be doing this on a different table. Oh, it's already fraying here. Okay, one, two, three, four. Let's do four and a half for now. And if I mess this up, I can still cut another piece because I got more fabric. <sighs> All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's fine. Okay, let's just cut this piece off. I said eight and a half, right? Yeah. I know there's better ways to do this, but it's kind of hard to do it on camera if you don't have enough room here. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can actually do a straight cut. Ugh, it's not going to be crooked. Not bad. 
bad. So, um, it's been pretty hot here where I live in Maine the past few weeks. But today, I mean, it was a little windy, but today the wind had a little tiny bit of a chill in it, which got me really excited because I love fall. Fall is my favorite season ever. And yeah, so I'm excited. I know it's still summer and it's okay that it's summer because if it's if it were fall, then that would mean we would have winter soon and I don't want, I'm not ready for winter. Um, but yeah. I always get excited if I if you can feel that the fall that fall is coming. I actually used to love winter. When I was a kid, we had we didn't really have winters like like Maine Maine does. I was always excited for snow and I also, back then, as a kid, you don't have to worry about driving in the snow, obviously, because you don't drive. Um, we never, ever had a snow day at school. That's not non-existent where I grew up. Um, and then when I moved back to the States, I first lived in Alabama. And it was so hot. And one, the first winter, we had snow once. It snowed like at two in the morning and it was all gone by 4.30. But they had live coverage on the news in the middle of the night. <laughs> and people would send pictures of teeny tiny snowmen that they built. And um, yeah, it was, I, I thought it was so funny. And I actually missed winter. And then I moved up to Maine and everyone said, oh, you're going to change your mind. You're going to change your mind. I'm like, no, never. Guess what? <laughs> never say never. I changed my mind. I love the snow when it first, like when it's first, the first snow and for like a month. That's nice. But then everything that comes after that, I don't, I don't care for because I have a... 65 mile one-way commute to work early in the morning and yeah it's no fun i always have studded snow tires but at least when i drive in the early morning there is not a lot of traffic so but then also the, some of the roads haven't been plowed yet so that's that makes it tricky however it is what it is okay so it's a little crooked, but I don't care. So now I gotta cut it. So we're gonna overlap. And then I'm going to cut it down here. <laughs> well, let's see. I might draw a line. So I know where I gotta cut. Cut about here. line. Okay. Kinda. I cut crooked. Oh my gosh, really? Ah, I can stretch it a little bit. I'm probably going to mess it up more. Please don't. <laughs> that looks weird. Oh well. It is what it is. Hey, it's a junk journal. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, works for me. Okay, okay. So now, like I said, on the fold, I have to make sure I'm going to put a lot of glue in here. But I don't want to put too much glue because I don't want it to come seep through the fabric. So now I also have to figure out, I'm gonna do a pencil line with my pencil. So I know where I'm gonna put all my glue. Actually, 
No, I don't have to because I can just put glue here and then I can still flip it up and put glue there. So that's fine. So let's put glue down. Am I actually filming? Yes, I am. Whew. Just making sure I turn it on after I shoot away my cats. I've had them for 12, no, 13 years. Well, they are going to be 13 in September, so in a month, they're going to be 13. So when I had, I got them four months, when they were four months. So, yeah, long time. And my dog is going to turn five in September. Everyone has a September birthday here. Well, all the furry kids. Okay, so I gotta make sure I get lots of glue in here. Glue, glue, glue. Okay, here goes nothing. And stretchy. Stretchy. Hmm, can't really see it come through. Oh well. Is it even even? Is it even even? I don't think it's even. A little bit. See? Once again, why does it not stick? Not enough glue. Well, I'm going to let it dry for a little bit. Okay, and now I gotta put glue on these sides. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be a problem because I'm gonna have three signatures in here, so you're, you're really not gonna, not really going to see that. Okay, I don't know why I closed my glue bottle. Because now, gotta put more glue down. Oh man. Okay, I'm running out of fingers. <laughs> okay. So it's funny, um, this weekend we have to go up north um, to my in-laws and they live in a tiny, tiny border town to Canada <laughs> and today I googled in for antique shops because I figured maybe they have some antique shops in town. <laughs> I found one, but they don't have a website or a Facebook page, so I don't know if they're going to be open. Well, I think they're supposed to be open on Saturday, but I don't know what kind of stuff they have. So, yeah. Ever since I started with my junk journals, I became more interested in... Oh, man, now i got more glue on my fingers. More interested in antique stores, because you never know what you find. Okay, where am I going to wipe my fingers now? Fabric. So, seeping through a little bit, but that's all right. Ugh. 
Ugh, not perfect. But perfect is boring. Okay, so ta da! Fabric cover, soft because of padding. We have the book corners. We have some weird looking fabric in here and some nice paper. And now this can dry and I can start working on my signatures. I still need to copy dye some paper. I have not had time. Um, oh, I probably have to put some more glue up in here. Yeah, I haven't had any time yet, but once I do, it goes pretty quick. And then once I'm gonna put all the papers together, I am gonna, well, I'm gonna do some more filming um, when I collect all my pages and I usually decorate some before I sew my signatures in and then I decorate the rest after. Wow, there's like no glue here. Why? That bugs me. Can I do it? Nope. Whatever. And the reason is because some page on some papers I want to machine stitch something on on them or I just want to um sew around them just for some more interest or some more texture. So yeah. It just depends on what I'm in the mood for and what ideas pop into my head while I'm working on my journal. So yeah, this is my, jur uh, my journal cover. Let me know what you think and I'll talk to you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Bye.